Hey guys! Welcome back to Let's Play Grandia 2! Last time we defeated those uh, soldiers and got three helmets. This time I have redone it exactly one time, lucky me, and I got two armors. The armor, I would say, is better, uh, but uh, both of those uh, items are unique. There's the two different items that they can drop other than gold, and they're both rather valuable uh, as far as selling or as far as anything else. Um, I prefer the armors myself, even though the uh, helmets have more defense than the ones I bought in the last episode. Um, let's take a look quickly here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, but uh, these ones have both move and magic block, and the other ones only had magic block, and you really want move block. Uh, so let's see here. So armor, paladin armor. It's got status resistance, which is pretty much better than what we've got now. So, basically, everybody has the same resistances, poison, paralysis, and plague. And so you can move on to the sage's hat there. And so everyone's going to have either... Or I could give you the priest one, too. Either way. But yeah, we're basically protected against most status effects other than sleep and confuse. And we don't get hit by those very often anyway. And we'll give one to you. So yeah, I would say that's probably the best outcome. If you can get it, good. If not, you know, just restart a few times. If you get bored or you get, say, a helmet and an armor, stick with it, sure. But I would make sure you at least get two because it's a one-off battle and you'll never get a chance to learn any of that stuff again. And I want to go back this way and save now that I've got that. Okay, all ready to go. Yeah, you definitely want to save after getting those. I would recommend the two armors over any other combination that you can't oh, oh that you can get. But the other thing is we do want to talk to all the people here. I was ready to go straight uh, forward, but no, this this one paints a pretty big atmosphere. That's a child. You remember the bakery they gave out bread to the homeless and those who were uh, un more unfortunate than the rest Somewhere else. This is supposed to be the most holy place there is. A letter. This is Mark's father. He finally quit drinking. Only to die. This is dark. I don't know about you, but I've always found this particular part of the game very dark. It's almost uncomfortable at times. The cathedral. <laughs> Round two, <laughs> bitches. Wait. Just stop your foolishness. Well, oh, the queen bitch. Celine! Did you order this? No, unfortunately. You evil bitch. Is this the will of Granis? Why would you do such a thing? 
saying it's the time of Valmar. Just whose side are you on? High Priestess Selene. You probably do not understand. Obviously not. You're evil. But why now nothing, all of a sudden? And without understanding. Ignorance is bliss. It's what do always you mean? bliss. It is the way of the world. Do you not think it is funny? Why so painful, you ask? Why so ugly? All due to man's own sin. The desperate masses are powerless, clinging to God, their hearts without faith. Mouthing prayers, but fearing the day of darkness. Thronging in the cathedral like rats, huddling in a sinking ship. You killed them for that?! Poor people. Death is their salvation. Did they not themselves pray for release from their suffering? What?! High Priestess Selene! Why was it necessary to go so far?! Elena? Elena, yeah. have you forgotten your own mission? My... Elena? Just... what is she talk... Where do you place your faith now? In that man, maybe? But I am different. To devote my life to His Holiness Zera, that alone is my wish. What the hell? Oh, why did you give me such a sad test? Please, surround me with your great love. Do, please watch, your highness Zera. This is my true love. Wait, no sound effects? Wait, we're just gonna... Oh, well, um... I, I, I have no words. A throbbing mess. Yeah, it, it looked like a throbbing mess and now it looks like a fucking whale. It's Valmar's heart, it's time to die. Uh, let's see here. This fight is not particularly difficult. Uh, he's strong against, or I guess she's strong against Earth. And uh, Come, two of the thunder. three parts, there are two Shake tentacles, the uh, are also strong against... Oops. Are also strong against, um, oh, uh, fire. I just hit the, uh, the keyboard tray that the mic's attached to, so if you heard something, my apologies. Um, I haven't tested out status effects because I really don't care, but that'll work. I'm not going to complain about that. Uh, Black Fog Spew inflicts plague, but we just bought armor and got armor drops to protect us against it. So no one's gonna get hit by that. That's about 300 damage, or no, 600 damage. It's a small little arc it's not really worried about. Uh, Tremor, we know what that does. It hits for about 400 damage. I'm gonna go this route. Now, he also has an attack called Suck In, or was that the previous boss? Either way, um, you could go with Beast King Blast if you wanted to, in fact, Sure, why not? Sworn enemies, you shall be defeated! Take that! Basically, this Sky fight's gonna be over slash. very, very quickly because there really isn't much to it. Now that we have such powerful attacks, like look at that, we've hit twice. And we're we've already taken off a third of its HP. Brown Beast King Blast! We hit all three? Yay, hit all three! And then you are going to go for Notice the cancel. Bloom. If she's not going for cancel, she's going to use Baboom. Uh, or, yeah, Baboom does more damage. It takes longer, but it does more damage. Uh, you could use uh, White Apocalypse and give, say, Dragon Zap to someone else. Like, maybe Tio, if you wanted to. Hey, stop that! But I'll do that after this fight for reasons that will be explained later. But yeah, this is, I believe, the, the most recent piece of Valmar. It's this, only the second one that we fight without Millennia. You get Tremor off. Somehow, I'm not particularly scared. 
Yeah. Whoa. Lots of not damage. Yeah, he uses or she uses cold and uh, freeze. Uh, a number of other spells, a lot of fire and uh, earth elemental attack spells, and then those little guys, the tentacles, can use the debuffs. I think that's supposed to be like a cool looking attack from what I remember reading. I don't know if I've ever seen it before. So we'll watch it, but first, ba-boom. Yellow. Now, the one downside to recording this episode now is I'm a hungry because dinner time is like five minutes ago and I am starving. Well, my dinner time is. Dinner time comes after... What what, what did they do in uh, Lord of the Rings? How many different meals did they have? <laughs> anyway, one of them is substantially weaker than the others. Um, sure, we'll let you use that attack. I think that's the cool one. Maybe, maybe it's a different one. I don't know. Okay, it's definitely not that one that looks cool, but apparently this guy's got an attack that looks cool. Not that you'll likely see it because, like, I've basically already won the fight. Damn, hey, boots! Hurts. I can use some boots. Um, yeah, dragon zap. Should have a little bit of HP left after Come this, thunder. and then I win. Shake the heavens. Yeah, there's a number of boss fights kind of past this point and you know around the demon's law point of the game where we have so many powerful attacks now that nothing you know really gets in our way we just start annihilating things there we go that was easy Okay, all you done. Practice if you want to beat me. And for that we get Goddess High Heels and Holy Clothes. Uh, both are relatively useful. For whatever reason it didn't show the armor icon, instead it showed an item icon when the uh, clothes dropped. It's kind of weird that way. But we get a crap ton of coins, which I of course will make good use of. And after a piece of Almar, we're going to see Millennia and wait a minute, where's Millennia? Oh, right. Elena said she didn't want to see her again. Elena, did you just absorb a piece of Elmar? How did you do that? Elena? Have you been hiding something from me this whole time? Then again, the other holy people have all gone evil. Elena! She's evil! She's working for the devil! No. <laughs> the heart of Valmar. My mission. What are you doing? good points. No, she wants to protect everybody. Now, you may have wanted to do what I did and make sure that Elena had nothing special, unique along these items. Um, accessory, I believe, got unequipped. Uh, I didn't give her the man insignia for that fight. What did I give her? I gave her act, which was down here. Yeah, God's Mirror. So that gets unequipped. Her egg gets unequipped. But I just gave, I took off her uh, glass slippers and gave them to Tio because 20 act is going to be useful. And Elena's 
out of the party for uh, a moment there. So I wanted to make sure I had all of the items I needed because shit's about to hit the fan. So yeah, basically all she had was priest robe, priest hat, and some footwear I gave her. I don't know, something, whatever, doesn't matter. Anyway, now would be a good time to save if I can. Okay, we're back. Now, unfortunately, going in here, uh, we can't go too, too far before hitting large cutscenes. Um, are you in here? Must find Elena. Uh, there's also the save point that's up there. That's still there. Um, I don't... There might be somebody up here, but I don't think so. No, okay. I know there's uh, Cardinal Oro floating around here somewhere. I know I've mentioned his name a few times and we've talked to him a couple times. He doesn't seem to have a big importance on the plot quite yet, but... Uh... Breathe his last breath. Cardinal Oro, there we go. I can talk to you. What do you mean? Holy door, huh? I actually... I, I know it's kind of morbid, but... I actually really like how they animated that. Considering this is a Dreamcast title, we just saw his head bob up and down a couple times, shake, and then fall to the side. It's not like it just kind of fell there and he's dead. They actually put the effort in to animate that, and I like that. It, uh, it shows attention to detail. These stairs. So yeah, we want to go up these stairs and into that back room. But like I said, I don't have all the... No, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, that, that, that's fine. Now I want to go and show that I've completely changed my setup. Well, not completely. Uh, you now have the Shadow Shoes because I've got nothing really else better for you. And the Gravity Egg and the Divine Talisman. Uh, here, we got the Warp Shoes back again, uh, Divine Talisman, and Holy Egg, and you have the Chaos Egg, Mana Insignia, and the Glass Slippers. As far as skill equips go, we've changed this quite a lot, so we've got Intelligence, Strength, MP, because he's low on it, uh, and basically he's taken on uh, the Gravity Egg, so he's got the same setup that uh, Tio had earlier, and some Speed. Here we got Strength, Special Power, uh, Rito's uh, eggs, so might as well give him the same uh, same chance there. Skilled item and pirate's ring. And here we got speed, special power, and Elena's stuff, and skilled item. But I got one more spot left, and I don't really have anything worthwhile putting there. So, where is it? There we go. Might as well put this to work finally. It's not like uh, it's particularly all that great. But it's there, and we might as well at least throw something of value on there. Since uh, I don't really have anything else good to put on there. I don't have anyone set up to take more damage than anyone else. Uh, just because I don't really want that. Because a lot of the enemies now, bosses included and normal enemies included, tend to use attacks that are special attacks. Those ones, Tio can't dodge nearly as well, if at all. So, yeah, we're, we're not going to do that. Um, let's see. Power up. What else can we power up at this point? Well, I might as well give you Tornado. Sure, why not? It's basically Halnado, except for I think it's pink. Not that it matters. Um, let's see. You're all set up there. And Holy Egg is doing all the things I need it to do. And the Chaos Egg is doing all the things I need it to do. So yeah, that's pretty much all that we can uh, buff up for the moment. Uh, there'll be another mana egg that we'll get that I'll be spending most of those uh, coins on there. But yeah, that's all the time I have for today. Next time, we'll chase after Elena and watch long cutscenes and figure out what the hell's going on. That's all for this one, and I'll see you guys next time.